Welcome to the 2019-2020 Ketchum Middle School Virtual Awards. Even though this school year ended a little differently, we're still gonna honor the students. So just sit back and relax and enjoy our middle school virtual awards. Hello and welcome KMS students and parents. I'm Mrs. Inman and I just wanted to start out by saying thank you for sharing your kiddos with me this year. It's been an unusual year when we're all going to remember. I'd like to start out with our Super Science Awards. Our highest achieving um, scientist this year is Miss Sydney Spinal. Then Cooper Austin, Emily Bass, and Connor Beckham. We had some outstanding science kids this year. Those just happened to be the top four in social studies. Again, Miss Sydney Spinal. Grayson Barcinas, Emily King. I also wanted to mention um, some of my outstanding students, such as Grace Mason. Grace was my hardest worker. She went above and beyond in anything she did. If she was going to be absent, she asked to do her work ahead. If she didn't understand something, she came in when she had breaks. Um, She's a very, very good girl and a very hard worker. Mrs. Or Miss Hadley Gregory and Miss Bella Bishop both um, tied for my best attitude. Um, Addie kept everybody laughing. Um, she always has a great attitude and is always smiling. Bella uh, is the same way. Even when things were difficult, she tried her best and she always has a smile on her face and willing to help. Then we started our distance learning. That's when I really got to know some of my kiddos in a different way. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by a couple of my boys who got the hardest workers during this distance learning. Wyatt Sofa and Jordan, Jordan Roberts. Um, they both really surprised me. They both went above and beyond and they really helped their grades while we were out of school. Taylor Bradford was my most resilient distance learner. She had some difficulty getting connected and things weren't working and she kept trying. She did not give up and it paid off for her. She finally got everything working and I think she got comfortable with it. Miss Brooklyn Tyner is my most inquisitive student. Yes, Brooklyn, you asked more questions than anybody else. I loved it. That's okay. Um, I'm glad that you were worried about it. I'm glad that you cared and you tried to do what you were supposed to do the entire time. That um, brings us to our other three most conscientious students. And those girls are Miss Lexi Rogers, Remy Overcash, and Zoe Carlton. Those three girls have been um, the hardest working, most conscientious, pickiest, hardest on themselves students that I maybe have had for a long time. They wanted to make sure they did everything right. They wanted to make sure everyone was happy with their work. They were harder on their work than I could ever be. Um, but I do appreciate the, the way they care and the way that they um, presented everything. So I appreciate all your kiddos. I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking with us this last six, seven weeks. I hope we don't do it again soon, but I can't wait to see everyone back next year as seventh graders. Thank you. I want to start by saying how proud I am of all of you. These times have made you have to change many things and you've done very well. To the sixth grade and my creative writing classes, I've really enjoyed our school year. I hope you have a wonderful summer and I look forward to seeing you again next year. Eighth graders, enjoy that first step into high school. Work hard, be patient be kind and great things will happen. I can't wait to see all of you again soon. Have a nice summer. I had several students this year 
who entered a contest earlier in the fall and had the opportunity to be published in a book. And those poetry awards go to Kiana Schulte, Noah Bogue, Caden Sandridge, Chloe Hendricks, Roland Valentine, Grayson Barcenas, Damon Landon, Sydney Sponnell, Gentry Huggins, Taylor Brayford, Wyatt Sofa, Hayden Hensley, Emily Bass, Michael Moorhead, Lexi Rogers, Addie Gregory, Brooklyn Tyner, Jordan Reed, Spencer Deckard, Jaylee Sumner, Emily King, Colby Phillips, and Zoe Carlton. I want to congratulate all of you. Good job. I want to announce my awards for this school year for reading. They go to Sydney Sponnell, Grace Mason, Cooper Austin, Brooklyn George, and Emily King. And for ELA, those awards go to Grayson Barcenas, Cooper Austin, Sydney Sponnell, Emily King, and Jordan Reed. Congratulations. Hey guys, um, so congratulations. It is the end of school, you guys did it. Um, and I have some awards to hand out. Now, before I do, um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Um, see, there's, there's some teachers in the middle school that um, aren't the best with technology and need some help. I never thought that I would be one of those teachers until I recorded, well, I thought I recorded uh, this presentation and uh, couldn't find it. Well, turns out I didn't hit the record button. So, um, oh man, my computer's shaking. So as bottom there, the, I guess the moral of the story is, you know, never um, think you're better than, than somebody or not that I think that I'm better than them, but uh, never, you know, um, assume that you know what you're doing because uh, there may be some times where you think that you know what you're doing and you don't. Um, but yes. Yeah. So, um, Hey, also thanks Ms. Spillman for pointing that out. Um, anyways, that's just for you now. Uh, guys, I, uh, I'm so excited that, uh, we made it. Um, there were some times that I didn't know if we would, uh, now I knew that we always would, but I'm really proud of every one of you guys. Um, from my sixth graders all the way to the um, the eighth graders that just came and hang out, hung out, um, you guys, you guys rocked. Uh, I know this was not the way that we saw the end of the year going, but we made it, and that's the awesome thing. It's a great thing about uh, being a teacher, and the great thing about being a student is whenever things happen like this, um, a lot of times you just got to roll with the punches. You got to go with it, and you got to make the best of it. And I think that we did that. So I'm really proud of you guys uh, for how hard you worked. Um, and so the awards that I give out, uh, I just give out top grade in each, in each one of my, uh, in each one of my classes. So, um, nothing fancy. I'm not cool like Ms. Spillman and Ms. Jackson, and I don't give out cool awards. Um, I, I leave that up to them. I just go ahead and, and do the, do the top one. So, um, but so another, another story to let you laugh at me before I actually get rocking and rolling with this. Um, see, I'm kind of okay with this being online because I don't have to make a fool of myself. See, I'm really awkward if you haven't noticed. Um, and my first year, like, I mean, this is, I'm fresh out of college, first year of, of you know, awards. And I'm like, man, don't look like a goofball. And so of course I look like a goofball because I went up there and um, see, you were supposed to hand the award with your left hand and shake with the right and then smile for the picture. Well, see, Looking at that, I always saw, okay, well, hey, you know, hand with the right, and you know, I, I, I flipped it around, and I'm right-handed, and I was panicking, and I didn't want to look weird, so I had all the awards in my right hand, and I went to hand it to him, and I went, wait, no, I got to shake, and so I shook with the left hand, which is really awkward and really weird, um, and I still have coaches that, that give me a hard time for that, so uh, I, I enjoy it. I embrace it. I'm a goofball. I know that. You guys know that, but let's get on with it. I don't have to awkwardly shake anybody's hand, um, so hey. You guys all rocked, um, 
And so I got I got four awards, uh, my top grades in each one of the classes. Uh, and second hour, that goes to Connor Beckham. Great job, Connor. Um, you all did great. You you managed to get that get that top spot. So uh, congratulations there. Good job. Uh, in third hour, it is Gentry Huggins. So uh, again, great job there. You all worked really hard at that. Um, Gentry, you just came out on top. So great job. Uh, in third hour, or I'm sorry, in fourth hour, because I can count because I'm a math teacher. Fourth hour. Uh, this one was really close. Uh, there were several of you guys actually over top of 100, which is weird because I typically never give points over 100. So I had several people over 100 um, in this. Uh, Cooper, Austin, you got the top spot, though. Uh, you you nudged out everybody else. Um, so great job there. And for my one class of seventh graders, hey, uh, I know this wasn't the um, typical year. Uh, I know it was a little strange at times. Uh, but, hey, you all worked really hard, and I really appreciate you guys uh, rolling with everything. So great job. Uh, to all you guys, my top spot goes to the one and only Bodacious. So good old Bodie Clayton. Great job, Bodie. Uh, you got the top spot in my seventh hour. You were uh, the top spot in every one of my um, seventh grade – or not, yeah, seventh grade social studies class. Um, so great job there. Hey, guys, like I said – Great job. I really enjoyed it. You guys made my first year at the middle school really awesome, um, memorable, and an experience that I don't think that I'll ever forget, and um, one that I really enjoyed. So I'm really happy. I'm really glad that I'm down here. Um, and yeah, guys, I can't wait to see you guys next year. So great job to everybody. Um, have a great rest of your year and, and our summer break. And hopefully we'll see you guys in August. So I can't wait for that. And I'm looking forward to it. So you guys have a great day and we will see you later. Hi, this is Mrs. Evans. I had the honor and pleasure of teaching a seventh grade geography class this year. So I thought I would honor the top three achievers each semester. So for the first semester, the top of my class was Olivia Gray with 98.7%. Number two was Riley Witt with 97.8%. And number three was Kinsey Males with 97.4%. As you guys can see, it was pretty close. Second semester, my top achiever was Cash Spielman with 98.8%, Olivia Gray with 98.7%, and Mason Adams with 98.7%. Thank you. Good job, guys. Hey, seventh graders. First of all, I want to let you know how much I miss each and every one of you. I'm also really proud of you guys for working hard and making the best of a situation that we were all thrown into so unexpectedly. Um, with that being said, my awards are going to be pretty short. Uh, they are based on the top grades of the, the top boy and girl for each one of my classes. So second hour is reading Olivia Gray and Cash Spielman. Third hour reading is Gabby Jones and Brandon Clowers. Um, fourth hour, language arts and grammar is Waylon Carriger and Shelby Waters. Uh, sixth hour, language arts and grammar is Kinsey Mails and Justin Johnson. And seventh grade, language arts and grammar is Lily Bogle and Zach Kirby. Um, congratulations to each and every one of you um, for working hard through the whole school year and making such good grades. Um, finally, I just want to tell everyone, um, I wish you a happy summer, have fun, enjoy it. Um, and I'll see you next next school year. Bye. So hard to believe that the year is already over. I know it was a weird and crazy ending to the year, um, but I just wanted to say how much I've enjoyed being at the middle school this year. Thank each and every one of you for welcoming me and making me feel at home. It's been so much fun and I've enjoyed so much getting to know you guys. Um, so I have three awards I'm giving out, just one for each class. I just did the highest grade in each class. And so um, I called it the top dog award. And for my second hour, American history, the top dog goes to Emma Epperson. Yay. For my third hour American history class, the top dog award goes to 
Brooklyn Benton. And for my seventh grade geography class, um, there were three girls that were within 0.1 points of each other, um, but coming out on top, it was Gabby Jones. I hope everybody has a great summer. I can't wait to see you next year. It's that time of year again um, to give out awards. First, I would like to uh, give a great big shout out to my parents for all the help they've given me this year, especially through this challenging time. Um, and talking about challenging times, I uh, would like to tell my eighth graders, I appreciate uh, that each time I issued a challenge um, to them that they rose to the occasion. Um, beginning with the play, it, they proved how creative that they could be. And I just wanted to uh, let you know how much I appreciate you and all your efforts. Uh, first off, I want to do the poetry awards. And this goes to every student that has, uh, that was invited to have their poem published. And those people are Shelby Walters, seventh grader, and the rest of them is eighth grader, eighth graders, uh, Hannah Seitz, Sean Scott, Jeremiah Richardson, Taylor Patterson, Kevin Hicks, Aiden Mouse, Peyton Bingham, Jordan Knight, Mason Dietrich, and Brooklyn Benton. Uh, and then I would like to move on to the top two in each of my classes. We'll go from the beginning of my day, which starts with seventh grade reading. And that award goes to Riley Rouch at 93 and Waylon Carringer at 92%. Good job, boys. Uh, my next hour, third hour, uh, goes to Riley Weaver and Eli Wigglesworth. They tied at 99% for the year. Um, great job. Um, then we'll move on to um, my fourth hour class. And that would be Katie Lane and McKenna Webb at 95%. Um, I think this is the first year I've had so many to tie. Uh, congratulations. Um, the next awards will be going, given to the Language Arts or English Awards. And um, congratulations, Eli. You got 100% for the year. I'm impressed. Riley Weaver, you had 97% for the year. And then my last hour class is uh, Katie Lane at 95% and McKenna Webb at 93%. Congratulations. Thank you for having, uh, having, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being a great class this year. And I hope to see you uh, at the high school next year. Okay. Hi, everybody. Ms. Jackson and I are here to present your awards. And um, we are properly attired since we are within six feet of each other. So we want to make sure that we were following all the safety precautions that the CDC has put out to us. Every year for awards ceremony, we give out um, different awards because everybody gives out academic awards and we could give every kid out there an academic award for something because so, you're all genius yes yeah. so we like to be a little different and give funny awards to our eighth graders sorry seventh graders you will get them next year no awards for you this year so look forward to that next year but we are going to get started okay you ready so we are giving Emma Epperson the wedding planner award because if there is a list to be made you are ready. Every detail counts with you, and we appreciate that. This award goes to Gracie Mays for the honorary mountain mover because you you have a positive attitude and work ethic can move mountains. We are very proud of you. You are awesome. Eli Wigglesworth is our honorary Sherlock Holmes because if there's a question to be asked, you can be guaranteed Eli will ask it. Next up is Mason Dietrich. He is the honorary manners master. Good manners are your beauty and you are we love that a and class. pickup is not the same without you who we'd have no idea who are in those cars <laughs> true so carson you get the john hancock award because you have the nicest handwriting i have ever seen john hancock goes to carson aubrey hoffman you are our Susie sunshine you brighten even the darkest of days 
You and you are so full of sunshine. Yes, and your smile lights up the room. So, Richie Overcash, you are our unintentional comic. You can make us smile and laugh just by standing there. It's craziness. Katie Lane, you are the rebel army of one. You are your own person, and you uh, you are a force to be reckoned with. Jeremiah, boy, this was a, we had a lot of runoffs for this award. Jeremiah, you are our back row -a lounger. Front and center is never going to be an option for you. You are definitely the back row lounger. Carly Scroggins, you are our traveling salesman. Your persu persuasion skills cannot be outsold. You can sell anything to anyone. And you know why, Harley, because why? <laughs> you know why. Hannah Sykes, you are a giggle-licious sister, I swear to Pete. You are double the giggles and double the grins and double the fun in any class that you are in. Maddie Beasley Barnes, you shouldn't be shocked by this. You are a yakety yak. I wonder why. Yes. Your it's mouth your... does not stop moving. But you have great leadership skills, too. <laughs> Don't ever underestimate that. Scout Skaggs, you are our honorary silly string. The best things in life are silly. Keep being you. Keegan Hicks, you are the debating Daryl. It says, I'm not always right. You're just always wrong. That is you to a T. You can argue with the wall. And Trent Sandridge, you get our Jeff Gordon of classwork. Because you are always the first in. Braden Buffalo Head, you are our shining example. Example is not the main thing influencing others. In influencing others, it's the only thing. You are a phenomenal bright light in the classroom. JT, do not let this go to your head, please. But you get the Swag Boss Award. Your swagger and style is envied for miles. Dylan Orlando Bogue, you get the um, award that is man of few words. Did someone say something? It's definitely not you. No, because you never talk. No. Kevin Hicks, you are our honorary Rembrandt. Because art speaks where words are unable to explain. You can draw. Abby Schaffler, you are our human garbage disposal. You always have food in class, which is fine, but always. And you always have to go get something else to eat. Yep. And Riley Weaver, you are celebrated as our model student. You are your very own role model, and you make everything look so easy. The one and only Thomas Krauser. You are our used car salesman. Yes. You can sell a pet rock to a geologist, and your persuasion skills are on point. Yes. You've got it going on. Future lawyer there. Okay. And then we have our dead bodies. We need to add those up, too. So, you guys... Didn't get to do the dead body, but we went ahead and drew for the dead bodies and the killers. So, fourth hour, your killers were, you ready? Oh, I don't think we should tell them, Ms. Jackson. Mm. No, maybe not. We'll have to stay tuned for part two. No, I'm teasing. Okay, uh, fourth hour, your killers were Peyton and Cody. And I know, the victims were Josh and Landry. And then seventh hour, your killers, you always, it's the quiet ones, were McKenna, <gasps> yes, can you believe that, Webb, and Kiki, so mm -hmm. never underestimate mm -hmm. those girls, and our victims for seventh hour were Brooklyn Benton and Aiden Mouse. McKenna Webb. I know, who That's ever would have thought, I know, it was, it was a very gruesome scene, Miss Jackson, you should be glad you weren't there, because it was everywhere. <laughs> Well, that concludes our amazing awards ceremony. And we do not like the way that the school year ended. Whoever would have thought that we would have left after spring break and um, not ever seen you guys again. So you have to make sure that when you go to the high school as freshmen, oh, or, weird. that you make sure you come back to the middle school and say hi to Ms. Jackson Please. and I. Because we, um, we will miss you very much. No. It's not ever going to be the same without you no. at all. So. Make sure you do lots of reading and lots of multiplication tables and math and stuff over the summer so that you keep up on all of those important math facts. Because, you know, if you can't multiply and divide, there's really not a lot out there. So, have a good rest of the summer, and we'll see you later. We love you. We love you. Bye. Hey kiddos, I'm here to announce the awards for the most AR points by grade. 
In eighth grade, Thomas Krauser had 147.6 points. Josh Coker had 146.6 points. Peyton Bingham had 102.6 points. And Katie Lane had 102.6 points. In seventh grade, the following students had over 100 points. Mason Adams, Missy Benner, Kinsey Mills, Ariel Rose, and Cash Spillman. In sixth grade, Jordan Roberts had 469 and a half points. Wow. Torn Moe had 260. Grayson Barcenas had 203.4. Sydney Spanel had 180.7. Grace Mason had 167.9. And Brooklyn George had 111.4. And last but not least, Blaine Tran had 110 points. I want you guys to know how much I miss you. And I loved having you guys come to the library. You guys were my frequent flyers. And I hope you keep reading over the summer. Have a great time this summer. Hopefully everything gets back to normal. See you next year. Principals Honor Roll. Mason Adams, Emily Bass, Landon Beasley, Madison Beasley Barnes. Missy Benner, Brooklyn Benton, Lily Bogle, Taylor Brayford, Braden Buffalo Head, Aiden Butcher, Michaela Buzzard, Xander Carlton, Zoe Carlton, Waylon Carriger, Bodie Clayton, Brandon Clowers, Lily Cobb, Joshua Coker, Rowdy Conley, Taryn Crawford, Cheyenne Fowler, Adelie Gregory, Sydney Harding, Chloe Hendricks, Hayden Hensley, Aubrey Hockman, Emily King, Zachary Kirby, Katie Lane, Kenzie Mills Ledgus, Grace Mason, Torin Moe, Riley Rouch, Jordan Reed, Lexi Rogers, Ariel Rose, Abby Sewell, Abigail Schaffler, Hannah Sykes, Destiny Simmons, Hayden Taylor, Blaine Tran, Jaden Trout, Brooklyn Tyner, Olivia Vaughn, McKenna Webb, CJ Weeks, and Riker Witt. Congratulations, Principal's Honor Roll students. Superintendent's Honor Roll, Cooper Austin. Grayson Barcenas, Spencer Deckard, Landry Decker, Olivia Gray, Gabby Jones, Noah Orlando Bogue, Remy Overcash, Richie Overcash, Carson Schilling, Sydney Spinell, Cash Spillman, Riley Weaver, Eli Wigglesworth, and Riley Witt. Congratulations, Superintendent's Honor Roll. We had two students have perfect attendance this school year, Zoe Carlton and Brooklyn George. Way to go, ladies. Our Students of the Month for September were Lexi Rogers, Kenzie Mills Ludgus, and Abigail Schaffler. October, Cooper Austin, Waylon Carriger, and Braden Buffalohead. November, Remy Overcash, Gabby Jones, and Emma Epperson. December, Connor Beckham, Hayden Taylor, and Mason Dietrich. January, Sydney Spinell, Riley Witt and Riley Weaver. February, Noah Orlando Bogue, Justin Johnson, and Jordan Knight. And parents, I just want you to know that these students are voted on not academically, but just as students as a whole, how well they have manners and how well they behave and hold doors. And we look at all kinds of things. And these are some great kiddos. Students of the month, be proud. Parents, be proud. I am honored to announce Riley Weaver and Braden Buffalohead as our Ketchum Middle School Students of the Year. These are two great students, exemplar examples of Ketchum Middle School. We are proud of you both. Congratulations. That concludes our Ketchum Middle School Virtual Awards. I hope we never have to do a virtual awards again, but we made the best of you this year, and I appreciate each and every one of you helping us and coming together as co-teachers as we completed this year in distance learning. It's been a great year at Ketchum Middle School. Eighth graders, we're going to miss you, but the high school is awesome. You're going to be taken care of and loved just as much as you were at the middle school, and we'll be waiting on you to come back and give us some hugs. Um, sixth and seventh graders, we um, can't wait till next year where we get to see you again and have a great summer, everyone, and take care.